we've seen in this channel what to do if you want to pump a flow Q against a head H. This is the pump chart. We've studied them in other videos of this channel. I'll leave their links in the description. Also, we've seen that the pumping system had its characteristic curve. The operating point will be that one where the curves cross. But let me introduce myself. My name is Marcus. I'm a retired professor of hydraulics. Now I'm a consultant engineer of many companies that deal with hydraulic supply to sanitation works. The pump chart has different curves for each impeller diameter. We'll study this one, the 350 mm diameter impeller. In another video of this channel, we've studied what happens when we consider a pumping system with one pump alone. Notice that there are two pumps in the figure, but one of them is installed for standby. Here are the head losses equations that occur in the systems. They were derived in another video of this channel. Its link is in the description. With them, it was possible to find the equation of the system. Here it is. And now, here is the equation of the pump when we consider the 350 mm diameter impeller. When we put these equations together, we find this second degree equation, which allows us to find the coordinates of the operating point. Here is the point in the pump chart. Notice that the flow was converted to cubic meters per hour. We know the efficiency equation for this impeller, so we can calculate its value at the operating point, which is equal to 0.74 or 74%. Also, we know the BHP equation for this impeller, so we can calculate its value at the operating point, which is equal to 6.40 HP. Finally, we know the required NPSH equation for this impeller, so we can calculate its value at the operating point, which is equal to 0.83 meters. But that's what happens when one pump runs alone. Let's see what happens when there's another pump in parallel at the installation. Notice that a third one is installed for standby. Again, we know these equations, and of course, we have the pump chart and the equations for the head, required NPSH and BHP. Here are the characteristic curves of one pump and the system. The crossing point is the operating point. Now we see another curve, the red one, which represents the parallel combination of two pumps. Notice that for each head the flow doubles. But this will be the operating point when two pumps are working in parallel. The flow won't double because the head losses in the system are now greater than before. We can squint our eyes to find this new operating point. The flow would be 8.9 liters per second, maybe. Or we can calculate it algebraically, as we have done in the last videos. This is the equation that we found for one pump alone. Let's find the equation for two pumps in parallel. In this table, you can see some pair of values for Q and H extracted from the pump curve, so we can draw this new table where the Q values are doubled. From these values, we can obtain this equation for H versus Q. As we know the characteristic curve of the system, which is the same, we put it together with the pump equation, obtain this equation from which we can find the flow and the manometric head. Piece of cake! Notice that each pump will contribute with a half. So we'll calculate the required NPSH and the power using this flow. Here it is at the pump chart. We must convert it its value to cubic meters per hour. We'll start with the BHP. It's easy. We substitute the values and find 5.67 HP. But notice that each pump will need this power. Two pumps will need twice as much. And now the required NPSH is just the same. We substitute the values and find 0.65 meters. 
I almost forgot. Here's the efficiency equation. As in the other cases, we substitute the values and find 0.67 or 67%. And so we completed our task. It's easy when we know what to do and how to do it, isn't it? But this required NPSH. What do I do with it? Good question. It's easy, but we'll leave that to the next video. See ya! Oh, and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, comment, share and subscribe. Hit the bell so you can be notified of my next videos.